Sparrow from Black Ops 3 is back. We have the new Torque 35 compound bow here in Modern Warfare 3. You have to do five weekly challenges to unlock it. This is the class that we're going to be running to get these challenges done, and I'll show you guys which ones I tracked as well. Because honestly, the weekly challenges to get this thing, they're a little iffy. Using a field upgrade 15 times isn't too bad. Same with getting 20 explosion kills. We have to get 10 double kills, 10 quick scope kills with a Marksman rifle or a sniper rifle, and then five kills with Claymore's proximity mines or C4. So let's get this thing unlocked and see if it's any good. But yeah, man, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you want to see some more new Call of Duty stuff. Dude, it took way too long to actually download and get this update going, but I'm just glad that we're here we're able to make this video. I was kind of afraid that this wasn't going to happen. Oh, there's a C4 kill. <laughs> we got to use the field upgrades. I put a decoy boy on. Whoo! Getting those quick scope kills. Let's go, boy. Got to keep remembering to throw down these guys. We got a whole little mini army over here. What the? What? Yo, they got the spear already. Oh, they probably bought that. Now they unlocked it. Okay, that's fair. Look at that. <laughs> Give me. I don't even have this unlocked yet. I'm going to have to try to get that later. How do you throw it? Oh, that's how. Oh, my. Okay, we're definitely getting that unlocked later. Oh, there's the quick scopes. We're done with the quick scopes. It's going to be a little tricky in core, especially since these guys are using like EOD, trophy systems. There we go. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. One of the best launchers in core is the RPG from Modern Warfare 2. Wait, does that count as a bouncing buddy? What just happened there? <laughs> what are these challenges? I am. <laughs> oh my god, even this guy's doing it. Dude, there were so many people. What the f stupid EOD, man. Oh my. Get up. <laughs> I keep forgetting to throw down the dummies. This honestly charges so fast. <laughs> oh, we got something done. We're done with the claymore kills. Okay, we just need doubles. We need to use field upgrades and then get more explosive kills. This is beautiful. I mean, now I can switch to like a syntax or something. Oh! I feel like that should have killed way more than just one person. There we go. There's the last double. It's done. Did I already get it done? I actually got it done already. Okay. Five more field upgrades, four more explosives. We almost have this thing ready, dude. One match is all it took, but it took like over an hour to get this update. I don't even know what they're doing. Like, why is it taking that long, dude? I think it might have had something to do with the Black Ops 6 beta because like, I think you can apparently download, oh, like over a hundred gigs of stuff for the Black Ops 6 beta. I haven't done that yet, obviously, because I'm trying to get this video done, but I definitely need to start preloading that. I'm not waiting like 80 hours to play the Black Ops 6 beta once it's out. I think one more explosive kill and we're set. There we go. That'll do it. Okay, we got it done. It just didn't pop up again. I think we need to just earn two more field upgrade dummies and we're set. Like, we're done. This class is honestly so evil. I love it. There we go. Second to last dummy. <laughs> he didn't fall for it. No. And that'll do it. Come on, pop it up. It's not popping up the challenges. Oh, that is so anticlimactic. Look at that. We got it all done. Nothing's popping up on screen. I was hoping for the oddly satisfying unlock, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure if we go to the launcher category now, it should show up. There it is. The Torque 35. We're just going to go in blind and use it. Looks like you can only level it up six times. Oh my. Oh. You can like fast fire it from the hip, but you can also charge it up. Dude, this thing's crazy already. Like, it's actually pretty good. This might be better than the Sparrow Bow from Black Ops 3. Well, we might have lost that game, but we definitely won because we got every single challenge done in one match and we got to use the bow. And it's honestly a lot of fun so far. I mean, dude, we went 70 to 40. We did really well. We unlocked it. Waiting on playlists. Is there a playlist update now? Oh, God. Oh, what's happening? Okay, so now that the game decided it wants to work, we have the Torque 35 here. You can see it in the gunsmith. The only thing you can unlock for this is ammo. Once we get this thing to level five, we can unlock ammunition and we can change the ammo types. I'm sure there's gonna be like explosive options and stuff. It only has one base camo challenge, which you get at level four and you just have to get 50 kills with it. And then you can start working on the other challenges. 50 hip fire kills honestly sounds pretty brutal, but maybe it's gonna be decent in hardcore. 25 one shot kills, you'll probably wanna do that one in core. And then for priceless, two operator kills within 10 seconds of each other 10 times. That's honestly not that hard. I don't think getting the camos is gonna be too difficult for this thing. Wait, what is this? Frogged out? That camo looks sick. I don't even remember unlocking that, but dude, this camo looks sick. Like at longer ranges, you can tell there's a little bit of a delay on the shot. Okay, so if you don't charge this thing up, it's not gonna travel as far and it's not gonna do as much damage. That would make sense. What's crazy is you still kind of can quick scope with this thing. It has a lot of like visual bounce, but honestly, the shot mostly goes straight when it's fully charged up. This thing's gonna be nasty, man. I've got this class with the gunslinger vest and I, honestly, I think that's gonna be a lot better. Nice Karen bundle. <laughs> Some of the skins and bundles that got added recently are so goofy. I mean, look at this alpaca bundle. I honestly love the emblem. I personally would not spend over $20 on this bundle, but it is pretty fun.
funny. But this one, the slug bud, oh my god. I'll cover yours if you cover mine. Please don't cover anyone with anything. They added a phase boost slug skin into the game, and honestly, bro, this one is just gross. Also, I cannot find a game of war. I'm j I just want to play something. I guess we'll go back to small map since that's all anyone wants to play. Yo, I didn't even get to see the full inspection. This looks crazy. Ooh. Look at that. He's already camping. No, come on, they're about to turn on that dude. We already got to level three, noise. Mm. 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 What the fuck? His name is Moist Discharge. That's what he's gonna be getting on his face on it next time I kill him. <laughs> Gushy diarrhea bits. Oh my god. Sad. Great, we're packet bursting and we're about to win. Love that. Bro, I just gotta say, I really hope Black Ops 6 has better servers than this game, like... Hope as usual, not a really fun game of Rust, but what are you gonna do? I mean, we did okay. 34 kills is decent, we were the best on the team and it's TDM, but... At least we're not going 1 to 15, good lord. I think we might have unlocked different ammo types, yep, oh my, wait. Hold up, wait a second, wait a second. There's like half a dozen different ammo types for this thing already. Ripper arrows. With a wide serrated arrowhead, these arrows fly slower but deal massive damage on impact, Arrows are recoverable after firing. Damage values are based on hits within the effective damage range. It does go up, but we have no idea by how much. And we do lose accuracy, fire rate, and range, but we don't know by how much we're losing. Like, let's just put it on and test it out against the dummies. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh yeah, longer ranges, that's definitely not nearly as good. Maybe on something like small map mosh pit, it would make sense to run these arrows. Although even with the base ammo, I didn't really get too many hit markers. Blast cap, okay, so we have the explosive tip. Blaze arrow, oh my god, what? It says effective against riot shields. This one's basically gonna be like a thermite. Yeah, you lose a lot of damage, so I wouldn't be expecting this to one-shot kill a lot of people immediately. This one shoots tear gas, which just sounds completely evil. You can't recover these arrows, and they're also undetectable by trophy systems, so that's pretty interesting. And then lastly, we have the snapshot arrow, which is basically gonna shoot a snapshot grenade, but you can still retrieve the shots. The fart grenade, the thermites, and I'm pretty sure the explosive arrows, yeah, none of these can be recovered. Let's see how the explosive tip one does. Okay, so that's not gonna be a one shot. And I guess in the firing range, you can't actually see the explosion happen, so that's not very helpful. How about the thermite rounds? I don't think this one's gonna work either, but it does kind of prove a point that you can't get a one shot kill with these things. Also, the velocity gets kind of bad. I mean, look at that. Now we have to kind of really aim up. All right, the fart grenade arrows... Wait, oh my god, the fart grenade arrows are still a one-shot. That just seems extremely annoying. I mean, why would you want to deal with that? It does say that you lose a little bit of accuracy and range, but it doesn't seem that bad. I don't know if the trade-off's gonna be worth it, though. Then we have the snapshot arrow, which could be worth using. If it's... Yep, it's a one-shot kill. But if this thing's gonna constantly ping and reveal people's positions, it could be really good. I'm really hoping we can find some more, man. No! Oh, I put this on the wrong class. Hold up. Dude, I think I might have been running the wrong class last match, too. Oh my, no, the snapshot effect doesn't seem that good compared to like a regular snapshot grenade. Oh my, it's actually just kind of distracting, I'm not gonna lie. Let's try the Ripper arrows. Says they do more damage. Oh. Okay, I waited like five minutes for this match and it's just over. <laughs> I mean, game mode wise, honestly, there's not a lot to do. I know they have some new game modes like Fish Fection and Cyber Attack, but I might want to play those later. But game mode wise, it just doesn't feel like there's that much going on right now, man. I mean, we could do 10v10, but that might be too chaotic for using the, the compound bow. We're going back to small map. All right, we got some cell ship domination. This is actually going to be pretty amazing. At least it could be. How many procs? Three! Three bouncing Bettys, dude! Oh my. Oh, off. That's that's too many. That's actually just too many. I know they're just trying to do the challenges, so I can't be that upset about it, but oh my fucking god! Dude, what the fuck? Couldn't have said it better myself. Oh. He's just hiding here. Oh my! We could have at least had a split quad, bro. But no, this gremlin just has to camp for his pancake kills. Imagine he's not even doing the challenges and this is just how he actually plays. I got a collat hit marker? That can happen with this? Oh, hey, we, I guess we got a camo challenge done. Oh, I think we can go for gold now. We have to go for 50 hip fires. I was already kind of hip firing it anyway, but oh my. No, did we get a split quad? Ah, oh, it's over. No, come on. It was just starting to get good, man. 
this guy. Oh my god, please. I'm gonna put not fun at all because honestly, it could have been a lot better. These guys were gremlins. He still went negative playing that way. Oh my, I'm putting not fun at all again. I like that it's giving more of these in-game surveys. 43 more hip fire kills and we'll have gold. I mean, I'll probably just be chipping away at these camo challenges. We'd have to keep getting shipments for it to make sense to keep hip firing because on most other maps, you have to aim it. Just don't vote rust. I'm tired of seeing rust in all of its variants. It's so gross. I think for fun though, I want to try out the explosive tips. We can't really see how good it is here in the firing range, but I'm hoping that it's actually decent. All right, we're going to lead this shot. Or the teammate can get in the way. Nice. With your dumb fucking turtle shield. Yeah, you are trash. Wait a second. When you use it with the explosive rounds, it shows up as a regular crossbow in the kill feed. What? Do I have to hit him? Like, what's the deal here? Can I spam it? The explosive radius seems really trash, but like, I, I think if you stick someone, they're basically gonna die. I don't know if this is worth using. Like, if I'm gonna hit my shot, I'd rather just kill them instantly instead of having to wait for them to blow up like that. Oh. No! We almost had a quad with it, dude. Just for shits and gigs, let's try out the thermite rounds too. Why not? I want to be able to try everything. Thermite rounds seem kind of dookie. I stuck him. Is he gonna melt? He didn't. Wow! What? What's the point of that? Maybe this is gonna be the arrow of choice in hardcore, but like, I don't know who's gonna want to take this to hardcore. Maybe the people who say that every gun is good in hardcore, even though this one probably won't be it at all, but without a doubt, the thermite rounds have to be the most useless. That's just bait. Don't even try to use these. I'm gonna put the fart arrows on though. All right, well, I landed a headshot, so. Oh, it's getting hit markers. I don't know. We're also at kind of at long range though. Oh my, what are you just doing standing there? <laughs> he died in the fart cloud. Dude, they're all just chucking spears at me. This is insane. I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna be having a blast today between the spear and the compound bow. Everything that's being added today is basically just a bunch of dumb, fun, goofy weapons. And they're actually decent. Like, they're usable. They're not anything too crazy, but definitely adds a lot more variety into the game, though, for sure. I think the fart grenade rounds are useless, too. Overall, I think that the, uh, the ripper rounds here, or rather the ripper arrows, I think that these are the best out of all of them. That and the default rounds kind of seem like they work the best. That's just based off of initial impressions, though. I mean, I'm definitely gonna be using this thing a lot, so. Look at the bow Y Y Like, oh my god, movement kings are gonna have so much fun with this thing. Nice little headshot. Woo! Oof! Oh! I was waiting for the spawn, bro! Oh my god! That just cost me. I had the easiest quad feed of my life, and I just didn't even know that other guy was there. At least we won that game, though. We got killed. No, we didn't get kill cam. The dude who stole the quad got kill cam. Good lord. I mean, at least he's having fun. <laughs> we did go 41 to 24, though. It was a decent match. We got to try out all of the rounds. This Torque 35, though, the brand new compound bow, is definitely a lot of fun. And I feel like it's going to add a lot of variety to not just multiplayer, but also probably Warzone and Zombies as well. I obviously didn't get to try it out on there, but it's going to be interesting to see how good it's going to be in the different modes and which ammo types might be good, depending on what mode you're playing. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me unlock and try out the brand new Torque 35 compound bow in Modern Warfare 3. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want me to double upload the spear today. And I'll see you guys later. Outcome. Tranquil.